All right, coming to you from the cell phone today. This is a crazy day. It has snowed in my little neck of the woods here. In less than 24 hours, I will be in Dubai. It is almost seven o'clock, my flight's at 11. Crazy thing about traveling to Dubai, for me at least, on this flight, you live an entire day, and then you get on a plane and fly for 14 hours. So uh, we're kicking it off, we're driving to Long Beach, parking my car with mommy, and uh, mom's gonna then drive me and drop me off at the airport. Okay, we are arriving at the airport. We have, as she likes to refer to herself, Uber mom, giving me a quick ride. All right, made it through security. Always fun, adventuring. Uh... We have made it. This has been like such an easier trip than I was expecting. 11 hours on the plane, I slept over five hours of them. All right, this might seriously be the single best feature of this hotel. Check this out. What? Club soda. Right here, ready to go. It's like they're expecting me. And I think it's actually free, so I'm gonna drink. Tuesday morning, three rounds, 50. Burpee pull-ups, 50. Box jump over, burpee box jump overs, 50. Regular burpees. This sucks, but trying to get rid of some of that jet lag. Today we do the press conference, and then, uh, yeah, I think I have the rest of the day off. So, should be fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna take uh, some pictures of the press conference, get my, my feet ready to go. Uh, tomorrow, we're off to the desert. Day after that, we're off to the pool. And then we're three days in the tennis stadium, which is right here, we're bringing you all that action. I'm gonna try to fly the drone around a little bit. I'll probably try to take off from the tennis stadium, go straight up, cruise around. I know there's some iffy drone restrictions. And if I lose another drone in as many weeks, uh, I'm gonna be in deep shit, so. I'm in the middle of the desert, taking some uh, exercise pictures of people running. It's great. And from there, whoa, what is this? That thing looks awesome. But yeah, so went out to the desert, went to the Sheikh's compound, 
And then I proceeded to uh, shoot CrossFitters, run a very hard 5K through the desert with weight vests on. I hiked in the desert. All right, I thought it'd be a super good idea to go to the other dune, take some pictures. Now I have to walk all the way back. I uh, got next to the camel. I went on four wheelers in the desert. Um, what else did I do? I flew a drone in the desert. about 2,000 photos, posted those, uh, had a fantastic lunch, and uh, then I was like, hey, why don't I just go skiing? So, sort of dropped the ball the last few days. I was doing really good, keeping up with everything, and then we got to the tennis stadium, and then life got very, very, very busy. So, it's the last day of the competition. All right, right now, we are in the tennis stadium tunnel. How cool is this all decked out in DFC stuff? This is like kind of one of the most prolific stadiums in the Middle East. All the uh, big names play here. It's an international venue. Let me show you. All right, I'm making the walk. This is the athlete tunnel coming out to the tennis stadium floor. All right, and we're here. The true brains behind this operation. Hi. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Say something Swiss. We're late. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Like some chocolate. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say something Swiss. Nope. Yeah. Amanda is very short and very efficient. Short on words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even that was the most efficient use of words you could have done. I'm sorry. Yeah, good one. All right, I've still been bad. I've forgotten to take any video all day. Competition is happening. Elos' girlfriend is going nuts. They're handstand walking. That is a wrap. They're closing us down. Competition's over. I don't know how I accomplished this, but somehow I am the last person on the staff to leave. And that is that. How cool is this? because opening blinds is so hard to do. So now I need to get all of the shit in this hotel room into that case and that bag. And thankfully I got a fresh duffel bag. And uh, that's about it. Now I need to go find some food. That is all, 17 hours on the plane. That wasn't a great flight back. Wait come on. What's up? I am finally back from Dubai, in the garage, ready to start catching up on some bulletproof workouts. It has been a rough go getting reacclimated with this time zone and kind of getting back on the schedule. We had an over 17 hour flight home because there were some delays. And then once I got to my car, my car was dead. So it was a very long day to get back, but uh, I'm back. I've been trying to work out a little bit. 
Hasn't been going very well. Been feeling pretty rough. Uh, but today, I said, you know what? You got to do some bulletproof back. You got to get back to it. So that's what I'm doing. We're in the garage. Let's go. Getting to my third round here. This is actually a repeat workout that uh, was one of our most popular videos. I think it was called uh, I Can't Do Single Leg Deadlifts or You Can't Do Single Leg Deadlifts or Someone Can't Do Single Leg Deadlifts. And what's crazy is my body is just not here right now. It's like, it's still on a plane in Dubai. Uh, but all of these movements were a huge challenge for me the first time through and even at this level of like just out of it, not caring, everything is actually going dramatically better. The single leg deadlifts, for example, I'm using double the weight. Like I changed the way I'm loading it with two kettlebells instead of one kettlebell in the middle. But even then, I just feel so much more stable and so much more comfortable doing them. So we're gonna go full speed on the last round so I can keep chit chatting with you a little bit. A little adjustment. What was that, better? Better? Yeah, we'll go over here, all right? Using that two leg setup. Ugh. Definitely much easier. Ugh. Doubling weight in one week, or what, three weeks, not too bad. Let's uh, flip this open so I can do some single, so RDLs and chit chat. But so, uh, the most interesting thing I've been finding is that how much my abs have gotten stronger in regular CrossFit style workouts. Like the uh, group wide yesterday had three rounds of 15 toes to bar in it. Normally that's something I would go into splitting up because I would always start cramping up around 30 toes to bar in a workout, no matter how much I broke them up. This time, no warm up, no uh, stretching, was able to walk right in and do three sets of 15. Right off the bat, no problem. And so like stuff like that is just uh, unheard of for me. Or even right now, uh, not paying too much attention and able to get an RDL all the way down to the ground is just uh, completely, completely a new experience for me. Um, yeah. All right, let's get some power rows in. Set of 12 rollouts coming up. This feels awesome after the aforementioned toast of our yesterday. There right, we go. I'm doing those rollouts a little weird. It's in a really tight spot right now, and I have a ton of crap in the garage. So my priority is just doing anything I can to open up my hip and not really worry about the other parts of my body position. So every one of those, I'm still getting that hip completely open, and that's the biggest part of the challenge, getting it open and then closing it again. So as long as I hit that, can't do that as a win. All right, let's finish off with our overhead hold. I don't know if I'm gonna to get to it, but performancecarerx.com, use code SUPER50. You know, just keep rocking. Tell me how those bulletproof programs are going. Keep doing those comments, I appreciate those. And yeah, enjoy your uh, holidays, enjoy your Christmas and all that good stuff. Later.